Yo, 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 yo. Wrestling fans, are you ready? You better get those Magusta Pops. It's time for all the kayfabe. Oh, Magusta. Into the danger zone. Hey, yo. Well, let me tell you something, brother. It's time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World of Kayfabe Podcast. Let's effing go. I am the host, the venomous one, Nick Venom, along with my two good friends, Staggerly Crocker, the professor. Oh, I messed, him, messed up his damn name up. The professor, Staggerly Crocker, and the one, the only, the watermelon man himself, Dan, the mother effing man. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a very, very, and I mean very beautifully special guest. He is the man that is literally the longest reigning and defending undisputed action-packed pro wrestling heavyweight champion. He is the longest reigning champ. He is my champion. He is fellow House of Bentley member. He is the one, the only, and that's right, Roman Reigns. Eat that because he's the longest reigning champ. And without further ado, we got the one, the only, the beautiful one himself, Mr. Beautiful. Bobby! My man, yeah. welcome to the show! That's a hell of an intro, man. You know what I mean? You, you, need, to come, you need to come re-announce. Like, damn. <laughs> the the pre-show sure, sure, kills it, though. The, the pre-show sure ritual is just the whole cocaine line. Exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, <laughs> damn out to it's, a, it's, it's, a t- it's a Tony Khan secret. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What Word. I do is, and you can it's all in the way the he takes the bumps. The white lines on his belt. I start cooking <laughs> off that. I that's why, that's how I get so amped up at the freaking wrestling show. Anyway, <laughs> gentlemen, how are we doing on this lovely Monday night? Oh, man, I'm doing great, man. Hell yeah. Out here, out here at the condo of Bentley, just kind of chilling, you know? I like that. Co- condo of Bentley. Condo I'm in the Bentley. office of Bentley right here. <laughs> <laughs> Man cave bill or whatever with my other bill. Yeah. I can also I'm, say I'm in the kitchen of Kennison because I filmed in my kitchen. So, oh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm in a little apartment, man. I got to make use with my dining room. So it's okay. I, mean, I got a background now. It's not a white wall. I mean, this is basically my background. Y'all two got the freaking the green screens. Meanwhile, I got my own little background and all the other good shit. Well, dude, I, used to, I used to be the outcast, man. All, all you used to see was a white wall. Now I got something. I feel better about myself. You should. You should. You should feel better. So I've got the white wall, uh, a tan wall, I guess. <laughs> dude, you know what? All it is, 35 piece of uh, 35 cent piece of fabric from Walmart does makes you look professional. Okay, hey. I might have to I might have to invest. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we got a very good show tonight. We'll be obviously chatting up with the man himself, beautiful Bobby, talking about the up and coming house party too. Man, look, I'm excited. This is this this event holds a special place in my heart. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. But um, obviously this past weekend, you know, I had a good time uh hanging out with the girlfriend, uh, the father, well, not father, the uncle in law was down from Texas, uh when Waco, Texas, and we had some crawfish. Brought out not one but two sacks, and uh, Mr. Beautiful Bobby got very butter. <laughs> I, I, I didn't get that invite, man. I, I would have flown in on Bro, the jet for those crawfish. I told invite. you, come to freaking Karen Crow. We had plenty. I can't be seen in Karen Crow. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. I, I've I've adapted. I've adapted the Karen Crow lifestyle. So, I mean, without, really. Uh, I mean, you really expect me to, you know, bring this gorgeous body over into Karen Crow? Like, hey, hey, hey. Karen y'all, are lucky awesome. I, y'all are lucky I come to Louisiana at all. Like, this is a big swamp. Hey, look, this is what it is. We got swamp ass. I mean, shit, this is half, <laughs> half the area. But, true. dude, I want to say something right now. The last ABW show was fucking amazing. I will gladly awesome. say that. It was, it was definitely a breath of fresh air, if you will. And I'm not awesome. knocking on GSW. I think yeah. GSW is great. I think they got a good product. But right. after a while, it kind of gets, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. With APW, it's now more, it's like a breath of fresh air. I mean, yeah, you got 
some people that were in GCW, GSW, now in APW, you know, so right. on and so forth. So talk to me about how this, this came about, how this APW, how y'all brought, brought it back. Oh man. It just, uh, it, it was time. I mean, there was, a there was a four year period there. I mean, COVID hit us and everything we had, we had something booked back then, uh, you know, uh, during COVID and, uh, Matter of fact, APW's show ha- was scheduled to happen the weekend after everything got locked down. Yeah, I remember. So that. there was there was all kinds of shows that happened building up to that, and then like APW was set, but then the world got shut down. Everything got shut down because of COVID. So it's just been, um, you know, uh, trying to get it all back in line, and finally the stars aligned again, and. Boom, APW is back. Right. And I freaking enjoyed it. You know, even even though the building was very it was hot in there. Yes. Like, through the energy. Like because I bring the heat. Ha! I see what you did there, you son of a bitch. I see what you did there, you clever <laughs> bastard. No, um, in all seriousness, like the venue was pretty I mean, it, it was nice. I will yeah. say it was hot, but the yeah. energy was very alive. Like like you could tell everybody was very into the matches, especially with you and Ashton, you know, in yeah. my opinion, the first match fucking loved it. Especially yeah. the, fin- the finish is by far the best thing to happen. It's like, Oh man. Wait, typical. are you talking about the slap? Are you the talking about slap, the, slap? the slap that was heard around the world? It's like, man, I love that. I, was, I think I caught that on video. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say I caught it on video and it was just, I died. So no bull here, right? Like, I I got the idea for that by watching uh, some footage. It popped up on TikTok. Yeah. And it was Randy Orton and John Cena. And Randy Orton slaps the referee and gets disqualified. I was like, yes, I've got to do that. I knew that spot looked familiar. I'm like, wait a minute. Yep. I've seen this before. Exactly. <laughs> and sure enough, you just brought that. I'm like, okay, I, I see what you mean now. You, you put a Randy Orton, you son of a bitch. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> or at least, unless you're Eddie Guerrero, you're not. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. You know. Hey, you know that's but, that's what we say about the Houston Astros, right? Yeah. How are y'all doing, by the way? <laughs> how are y'all doing? It's y'all early, the reigning defending early. champs, you know. <laughs> it's yeah. early, bud. It's early. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, who was the player that we had in, in 2017 when we won the World Series? The guy with the big beard. What was his name? Uh, uh, Dallas Keuchel. No, no, he was a catcher. Oh, Evan Gaddis. Yeah, you hear he's still talking shit? Yeah, I heard about that recently. He's still, he won't let it go. Man, you, you want a ring, dude. Like, just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's a, it's a bit of pill that I have to fucking swallow. Because uh, not only I got to deal with this one, I got to deal with my father-in-law. It's like, hey, like, the thing is, we watch wrestling together, and, like, he hates the bloodline. He can't stand the bloodline. Yeah. So like one, it was like the other what other up? day. And it's a cat that appeared. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Anyway, and like he pulls out his Astro hat. That's He's got awesome. the championship hat that I got him for Christmas. It's like, hey, hey, you acknowledge me. And he's got his fucking hat on. I'm like, <laughs> that's awesome. You know what? Fuck <laughs> this shit. You know what? I'm telling you this right now. All right. And this is what I told him. So yeah, I'm going to tell you this right now. Enjoy that. All right. Cause that's about the only time you're gonna win again, all right? Mm-hmm. Plain and simple. Y'all won. Your your bragging rights is done, all right? Like we, I even told him on the cruise. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna taste him right now. Baseball is coming up, all right? Baseball season coming up. You know we got a friendly rivalry, Braves and the Astros. I'm telling you this right now. Your bragging rights are done, all right? They've been revoked. <laughs> it's a brand new season. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yep. Oh well, you got your little. Braves championship hat. Yeah, but I leave it at my house because I don't really wear it as much. I keep it as a memento. Sometimes I wear it on a podcast. Oh, you little podcast with your little man. And... I said, let me tell you something. At least I'm getting people on this podcast. What are you doing with your life? Playing with rope. Playing with fucking rope. <laughs> no, man, no, but all seriousness, I love him to death. And he's but, one of the reasons why I watch baseball. It, so, so it's memento. That just means that you're ashamed to wear it in public. I'm not ashamed of wearing a pub. I mean, I would be. <laughs> I wear this in public. All right. That just tells you enough. 
right there. Plus, I'm a snapback guy. I mean, yeah, the grand. I mean, fuck, I'll show you the hat right now. The hat. I keep it right here. That way, you know, right there. You know what I'm saying? It's it's yeah. a special occasion type of hat. For me. What what year is that? What was that? Twenty 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 one. Yeah, it's old. Exactly. Yeah. Now, it's at a- the Astros. time I was wearing it. It's Astros. We won it in twenty two. Twenty twenty two is a bigger number. We won. <laughs> well, hey, hopefully the way how we playing right now, we might be. You know what? I hope I hope we meet again. I hope we meet again. I hope so. Because especially with him right there, because the night, what was it? It was one of the night. It was one night during the, it was like the postseason. I got super oh, drunk. Bro. Oh, I dude. was drunk. And oh, boy. something you about the Astros. So and I'm like, I went on Facebook. And I mean, I'm not going to lie. He called me out. And I respect. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Fuck the Astros. Fuck the MLB. This is a fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All of I drove off the freaking chair and do a Jeff Horry Swanton bomb and <laughs> got a freaking like multi page freaking text from, from Bobby. It's like, yeah, bro, oh, why, yeah. You, why are you whining? It <laughs> happened. Get over it. Man, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you and your fucking Astros. That's why your ass gonna get your ass kicked in a fucking uh, World Series, you piece of shoot. Anyway, but Man, this, whole L- this whole LWO thing is still uh, throwing me off. I don't understand the LWO when Rey Mysterio was the one that didn't want to join LWO. But okay. Right. He was forced. It's, it's, right, right. Why he you forced to the join it? Because you pointed up at you pointed at me when you were talking about that. Uh, I meant to point at Bobby. Yeah. Well. Right there. So, so I thought there that you is. were trying to point at you at me, and I thought that he was on your screen at a different area. So <laughs> I clicked follow host order. <laughs> I'm pointing at you. I'm pointing at me. <laughs> hey, we're Ray, hey, we're Dominic Mysterio's flannel jacket thing. <laughs> we're arrows. You, you definitely need to get that, Joey. That screams. Uh, I am not. Screams. I am not spending four hundred fifty-one dollars for a flannel. Would you? Would you spend it on a belt, though? That's besides the point. <laughs> God damn it! No. Um. But no, I, I'm excited about this house party too. I actually got my tickets. Me, cool. Sonny's gonna be there. My friend Sonny. Sweet. I He'll be seen there. Him in a while. Steven's gonna be there. As a matter of fact, okay. we're supposed to be sitting at the very same exact row as we did for the last show. Okay. I'm on the bike. Cool. So dude, right. I'm fucking it. I'm fucking excited. I can't wait because this time I'm wearing a muscle shirt because as God is my witness, I'm not wearing a regular shirt because I was sweating like a damn whore in church. You were but, sweating. What about us, man? Like it was hot. Oh yeah, I know. Y'all was sweating. Yeah. Jesus Christ, hot. Thankfully, but, we had air conditioning in the locker room. So, I want to address the pink elephant in the room. Y'all have a brand new member of House of Bentley. Yes, we do. Tell me about it, man. That's uh the guy you're talking about is uh, Ashton Blake. Yeah. Uh, very young guy. Um, I actually know his father. I actually wrestled with his father before. Mm-hmm. Uh. Talking about half breed. I don't know if y'all know anything about Louisiana wrestling, um, but uh, yeah, that's his father. So he comes from a comes from a really good. Uh, I mean, his dad trained him, so right. it, it, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be top notch. And uh, you know, with the uh, with not having Hannibal around anymore, I, I kind of figured, you know what, this guy kind of fits that Hannibal mold. It, yeah, the, I would say kind of. I don't want to say filled the void, but kind of sort no, of. No, he, he fits the mold. The, 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 right. The, it's like we lost the gothic member of the house whenever right. Hannibal passed. So this guy, I figured, man, he's young. He fits in. Why not pull the trigger on this? And boom, we did. Uh, talked to Preston, and Preston was Preston was down for it. So we went ahead and brought him in. And I think it'll I think it'll be really good for for um for the house in general, but also for him to kind of be under the tutelage of some guys that have been doing this for a while. Cause I mean, he's only been working for like, I want to say two or three years, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, you know, it'll give him a chance to be around us and learn more, you know? So I think it'll be really good. Yeah. The only thing about Louisiana wrestling that I know is a buddy of mine is, and, and, and forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, 
but he's in the what pro wrestling two, two, five hall of fame. Okay. okay. Who's that? You know, double B Billy Boudreaux. Yeah. I know Billy Boudreaux. Yeah. yeah he, I used to, and this was years ago. I used to be on his podcast. Really? Um, yeah. Called W he, he used to do WGS TV yeah. years and years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Like 2008 and 2009, I'm nine. I'm talking to Jerry Lynn on the phone, Axel Rotten. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got, I was probably only like 21 at that time. And yeah, okay. we, we just been buddies ever since. I mean, we don't talk really much anymore. It's casual. Hey there. Hey there. But uh, yeah, that's really the only thing about Louisiana wrestling. I know. He, he was doing, uh, he was also doing that. I, I don't remember the year now, but I know he was doing, um, like on the public access and Lafayette, he was yeah. doing a, a weekly talk show on there. Really? And, yeah. And I actually went on there twice with him and was in studio with him and did it, did the show with him twice. Oh, wow. That's cool. I didn't yeah. know he did that. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was pretty cool. I, I think he, I think he stopped whenever his co hosts passed. Yeah. He, he doesn't do it anymore. Cause I actually just talked to him the other day and yeah, he, he said a bunch of shit happened and <laughs> It just, it deterred him away from it. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun to do, but you know, uh, but yeah, I know Billy Boudreaux. He's been around. He was, he was around whenever I first broke in. He, I, every time I'd go out to Abbeville, he would be there at ringside and he would usually have a camera. He was filming the shows and he would do commentary yep. on them and everything. Yep. So yeah, I know old Billy. Yeah. I haven't seen him in years either. He's still the same. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I just think, I think he lost I think he lost a lot of weight. Like I, I seen him recently on Facebook and he's a lot slimmer now. And I'm like, man, good for you, dude. Yeah. Cause he was, he was pretty large and I know he had lots of, uh, like physical issues. He was always yeah, in, like, physical he, he therapy. Does, and... He does like physical therapy, like four times a week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Billy was, yeah. He's a, he's a nice, nice guy, man. He's, yeah. I just haven't seen him. Matter of fact, I haven't seen him since uh, the first house party, Nick. That's, that's the last time I speaking, saw Billy. Speaking of house party. So, Myself, Puff, and Art, which is formerly, well, not formerly, currently known as Cajun Elite Squad. Uh, mm -hmm. th that was where Cajun Elite Squad was born, was that house party. Oh, and okay. We, we posed for a pick, and Anthony, who, you know, the referee. Yeah. Or Tony. Uh, yeah. He basically had a video, and he put it on YouTube. And mm -hmm. in the video, it's us three doing the Elite pose or whatever okay. and you can hear Pilly and Boudreaux's like Kenny Omega has uh, demonetized this video and it's just <sighs> man that's funny as shit it's freaking hilarious <laughs> and he, and he sent great. me that I think right before Rumble on the Bayou he's like yeah dude check this out it's pretty funny because I had talks of having him on the show possibly sometime in the, in the distant future Yeah, for him to come on and have a, and talk about you know how house party was and all that shit because for me, the first one, clearly, we've it's 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 the one that's been beaten to the ground at this point. Yeah, it's the most important wrestling show to me, right? As someone who was going through quite possibly the worst week of my life. Yeah, and after promoting this 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 show constantly, even the shit with Hannibal, God yeah. rest his soul, with the ladder match that that never happened. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I was so stoked because I texted him. I was like, dude, you know be a great idea? It's like, what? New Iberia has never had a ladder match. Right. They never had anything in that type of stuff. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, like, I'm sure they've had Not that I know of. a and... dog collar match. Maybe right. I could be wrong. Right. But it's like, dude, it'd be awesome if you had a ladder match. And he's like, dude, that's not a bad idea. I know. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you guess, and then Cody of all people, dude, that'd be perfect. Yeah, you know what I mean. Totally. It's like, unfortunately, that didn't happen. So said right. Hannibal had like blown his ankle, or it was something happened. Because I'm hearing right. it was kayfabe, but I heard it was not. Yeah. Either way, he couldn't do it. I'll, I I would uh I'll talk to you about that offline. That's something something That's else I can kind of enlighten you to. Yeah. Either way, he couldn't do it. Right. Either way. So it was like, you know what? This is some damn bull. <laughs> so come to find out. And I think I've shared this on the podcast, especially with Dan. So myself and Dan, um, how our friendship kind of 
blossom. Mm. Obviously through video games and wrestling. But both of our moms passed away. Mm. His mom passed what two years ago? Yeah, Remember December of twenty. Uh, December of twenty one. So almost mm. three years. Mine passed away four years, obviously. And how's it been? Technical difficulties. Yeah, back for yeah. a second. It's, yeah, it's Nick's, Nick's narcolepsy. Nelly. He just fell asleep. Anyway, am I back? I'm yes, back. you're back. I'm back. <laughs> he woke up. Anyway, no. Uh, House of Bentley welcomed me with open arms. Um, it's a group that I fucking love. It's my little NWO, if you will, because, you know, yeah. they're always too sweet. Right. Even though this clown right here he'll nope nope <laughs> and in my head I'm just like this fucking curly looking son of a bitch <laughs> the inside joke by the way because for the longest time I would leave curly gifs <laughs> yeah yeah I was like what the hell dude like <laughs> I don't know why I just did it I was like man you know what you kind of was like this like curly with a beard it's pretty funny. <laughs> no but um House party, dude. Let's talk about it. We might as well get it started. I mean, the yeah. first one is fucking great. Oh, hey, really, really quick before you go. Hey, um, I spoke to Kid Cash today from ECW. Yeah. Um, I think uh, the beginning of May, we'll have him on again. Oh, cool. Yeah, speaking of ECW, because he was brought, bringing up the Sandman and all that shit. Right. He always got the ECW belt, that lucky bastard. We had Kid Cash on the show a while back. Um, beginning of the year, we had him on the yeah, show. It was, Feb- it, it, was, it was February 12th. I'll never forget it. Yeah, February oh, cool. 12th. And, and, dude, he's coming back for another one. That's I'm awesome. I'm excited. Yeah, he keeps, he keeps asking me, like, when are we going to do another one? When are we going to do another one? It, it, it's crazy when I can say that literally I talk to an ECW original constantly. That's what's up, man. That's dude, awesome. Super humble guy. Oh yeah. yeah, that dude is amazing. Super cool dude. And uh, I we're in the talks about him possibly sending me a ring worn outfit from ECW. Oh sweet. Yeah. Yeah. See, I wish I had. I wish I had wrestling friends like that. Just send me their wrestling gig. Uh, uh, hey, dude. All I did was ask. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm eating peanut butter on the air. Hey, man. Sure eat that I'm peanut butter. Nut butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, no, uh, house party. I mean, tell me how the first one started. Uh, well, I mean, the house was literally on fire. We, we started, um, we got together. I want to say, let's see, that was March of 19 when that went down. Yep. Um, I want to say, November, October, November of the previous year, we, we formed, um, and we were getting a lot of, we were getting a lot of, uh, attention. I mean, we had people, you, I I didn't know you yet, but there were some other people from that area that were like, man, we love the house. We love the house, you know? And, um, we just came up with this idea. We're like, man, why don't we, uh, why don't we have like our own party and, and call it house party, but spelled the way we're doing house and that's preston's idea by the way with H A U. I figure that uh <laughs> but um yeah so we and we went with like a save by the bell type um flyer and everything and um it, it it was also uh you were there so it was also the uh five-year anniversary of cali heat forming me and david oh shit so, yeah, you don't remember that? We did that 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 night. That was yeah, yeah, y'all did. Okay, yeah, yeah. That that was uh, the five year anniversary of us forming. So By I was like, well, shit, why don't we? Yep, there it is. That was a cool ass flyer. One so, of my favorite uh, flyers. So yeah, we just we we're just like, man, why don't we have a party themed uh, show or whatever? And um, boom, there there it went. And uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think everybody in the house won that night. Yeah. Uh, to, to cap everything off. Um, I mean, I lost one match, but I won the second one. So the, the second yeah. one was most important. Let me pull out the I, Seth Rollins over here. That's when I beat Price old Mustang century. Mike. That's when I beat old Mustang Mike for the heavyweight championship. So yeah, it ended, ended it. And the attendance was great. We had 500 plus in that building. 
uh, meeting room at this point. We were having to turn. They were having to turn people away at the door. Like we don't have any. There, there's no more chairs. And they were like, "Well, we just want to watch the show." So they started selling them standing room only tickets. And I mean, yeah. people were paying it, you know. And that was by far probably the most successful APW show to date. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much how it came. I mean, the house was, the house was really getting a lot of attention. Uh, we even had t-shirts. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> now, I got to ask you a question. Kidding. I got to ask What's you a that? question. Do y'all put y'all stuff out like on YouTube for people that aren't in the area that can keep up with y'all? So we were at one point, um, there was a guy, um, named Dylan that worked for Delta media and Lafayette and he was filming it all for us. And then he would actually edit it and go put it on. But since we've lost con, we not lost contact, but since we haven't really done anything in a while, we haven't really done that, but we are planning to get that going again to where people can see it because yeah, I want to see what it's all about. I mean, I think we put on a really good show, man. I, uh, I'm, I'm not trying to brag, but I think we put on one of the better shows out here. Now, do y'all, y- y'all do, y'all do have content though on YouTube though, right? Yeah. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you can go on there and search, uh, cause I know we've got house party on there. Okay. Um, and actually Billy Boudreaux, he's got, I think he's got house party and he's got, uh, one of our shows that was in, uh, Abbeville is called aftershock. Okay. Uh, so if you go look those up on his page, I know he's got them in full and yeah, he's doing sure. commentary. I'll check them out. Yeah. And he's doing commentary. So yeah, uh, definitely. And it is something we're looking to start doing again. Cause you know, we want people to see what we're doing. Yeah. Ooh, hell, hell yeah. Hell That's yeah. Good shit. Hell yeah. It, really is. I, it was my first time checking out APW and I'll never forget it. I think it, I was texting jo- uh, Preston at this point and I'm like, dude, what's going on? I, I keep hearing the buzz. Yeah, man, we got this show coming up. And I'm like house party. Like does y'all like y'all faction is like, yeah. Dude, that's so NWO. You know what I'm saying? He's like, <laughs> he laughed about it because it's like, what are y'all fucking NWO from '97 with sold out over here? Hey man, just, we grew up in that time, so of course, yeah. why not? Just tell people <laughs> far from like, man, this is awesome. Just hope you didn't come in uh, garbage trucks like they did. Oh, oh no, no, no garbage truck. <laughs> A pink no garbage, garbage truck. Truck, truck, truck was parked hey. at the recreation center. <laughs> Hey, and I'm glad y'all said that because remember the whole, the whole Miss NWO pageant there, but it was like all like suburban mothers. I'm like, yeah, yeah. it was ridiculous. <laughs> what the fuck? There was no like blonde haired bombshell in that whole thing. Nope. It was we like, have to do a paper it's like, on that it's show. like fucking that show ladies named, funny as hell. It's like ladies named fucking Peggy and Irene. And I'm yeah. like, oh, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> no, yeah. but cringe. But yeah, so ba- basically, basically they're casting for Roseanne. <laughs> and, then they go, and then they go auditioning for Roseanne. Really quick before we move on, I like when Eddie Guerrero's coming out and it's like the Mexican jumping bean, Eddie Guerrero. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yes. Losers. Dude, we should have done we should have done that. We should have took over kind of like the, the ring introductions like they did. I totally forgot about that. Dude. Oh, next week. Man. Yeah. Next week. Oh, 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 you gotta man. do it. You gotta oh, get with man. Eddie. You gotta get with Eddie on that one. Oh like, man. I'll text I'm gonna him. To, like, hey. I'm gonna have to talk to Eddie. Yes. It's like Eddie. Okay, I have an idea. Boy. Well, I got Bobby on the show. We're talking about house party. And it's based on House of Bentley. I have this great idea. Yes. Just, like one of the ring, like get like a ring announcer for yes. house party, right? My own, my own, per- our own personal ring announcer. Like, David now, Hardy. Y'all, no, y'all, I mean, no, Dynamite Dave. Now, are y'all a, um, are y'all a heel group? Yes, we are okay. a heel group. Oh yes. yeah. Okay. So you need to, you need to have your own heel referee. You need to have right. your own heel. Oh yeah. Dude, they have right. to make it black, have to have black not white Patrick. black. Right, oh, we do. We do, we do need a Nick Patrick. We That's fucking totally, great. We totally right. need a Nick Patrick. I mean, you know, the thing about it is, man, all wrestling storylines have been done over right. and oh, over yeah. again. Oh yeah, yeah. So I mean, granted that NWO storyline is almost thirty years old right now, but yeah. I'm sure if we did something like that, like hardcore fans are gonna be like, they're pulling an NWO. Bunch you know? of marks. Which, which which I have no problem with. Like I just told you, I just told you, I I came up with something by watching an old Randy Orton video. Like Joey, everything. I think he bust out the, uh, the mark 
sound like is there there there's no like from your point your point of view there's no such thing as a an original idea anymore right not really man that's because what i thought it's, yeah. all been done. it's all been done it, it's all been done and there's only so many things you can really do out there and if you do something, even if you try to tweak it a little bit, you got the idea from something. Yeah. 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 You know? So yeah, there's nothing original really. None. Yeah. Cause you know, yeah. beautiful Bobby just called me a freaking Mark. Hey, you I call fucking it. Mark. Fucking Mark. <laughs> That's exactly what he said too of that night. Hold on. Hey Bobby. <laughs> oh, put that down. You fuck you damn Mark. <laughs> you could say fuck cause you know, it was a kiss show. But anyway, but no, that would be a hell of an idea, though. That would that be is such hilarious because it's like, I did that. Like, hey, hey, Bobby. I'm not, hey. look, I'm not even going to let you know if we get it nailed down. I just want to see your reaction if it happens. So, Bro, like, yes. <laughs> he literally wants yes. your, you your reaction to be completely organic. It right? has yeah. to be. It has yeah. to be. Totally. If you thought, if you thought the freaking energy was loud for Rumble on the Bayou, oh, boy. <laughs> It was in the effort, H O B. Because I mean, we're what twelve days out right now, so I mean, you might forget, you know. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna remind you. <laughs> hey, is I'm Nick? Remind hey, you. Hey, you're gonna know more than anything. Is Nick that fan that's so hyped that you just want to be like, dude, shut the fuck up? Sometimes he is. Sometimes that guy. he get, I can yeah, see, yeah, I, I can figure he gets too hyped. <laughs> But I will say this, I will say this, Nick and the group of guys that he comes with. Yeah. Uh, now granted that show that we did last month, uh, it was in a, it was in a new area uh, yeah. that hadn't had a pro wrestling show. So there was a lot of first timers uh, and there was a lot of elderly people there too. The community has a lot of elderly people. So you've got people who probably watched wrestling back in the seventies like and six or five era. Yeah. And they were pretty hype already. Like they were popping for stuff that I was like, you know, I did a body slam and they're like, yeah, I'm like, they're like, Wahoo, wow. Mc, they're like, Wahoo McDaniel used to do that. <laughs> well, well, hey. well I, I think some of that, hey. I think some of that is actually due to people that might not have been to an indie show. Yeah. They've been to yeah. WWE. And when you're at the indie show, you're hearing those slams a lot more than you're at the WWE shows. You can hear yeah. boom. And yeah. yeah totally. It's loud. It's, it's so a lot I more actually, indie shows are so much more exciting. I actually had a guy walk up to me. Uh, we were just kind of walking around the building. He was a security. He was going to be a security guard that night. Um, but he walked up to me. He's like, Hey man, what happened to that guy that used to wrestle with y'all? I'm like, who, who, you know, I, I wrestled with a lot of guys and he goes, uh, <laughs> dog something. And I'm thinking Louisiana. I'm thinking Rodney Mack. He used to go by red dog when he mm -hmm. wrestled down here before he got to ECW. And um, I was like, are you talking about Red Dog? He's like, no, no, dog. I'm like, wait, are you talking about Junkyard Dog? He's like, yeah, where's Junkyard Dog at? Uh, like, Dude, he's oh dead. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that makes me cringe every time I hear that's something. Almost, like that's almost like the Saudi prince when they were coming up with the, the crown jewel. He's like, man, we need to get Yokozuna. Like, right. bro, Yokozuna's been dead for 25 <laughs> years, bro. Right. <laughs> so... Before we move on with this, I have a special announcement. I was going to drop it before house party, but I'm going to do it here live on Water Cafe. Uh, right. It took some, it took some time, uh -huh. but I can finally say that I. Hang on, I gotta get this damn mic. Last time it happened, the damn mic fell. Get it off. There we go. All right. So with that being said, KJ Lee Squad shirts are now available. Oh, sweet. Angel Lee Squad shirts are now available, as you can see. There sweet. it is. Nice. So, just want to make that perfectly well known. Hey, is Beautiful Bobby going to buy one of those shirts? Nope. Hey, fuck. <laughs> well, I know one thing you're going to buy. I know one thing you're going to buy. Yeah, those don't, tickets let's... to the Baton Rouge Kingfish. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Totally. Bro, totally. like, it's been announced that we're finally getting a hockey team again in, in Baton Rouge. Like, I will travel two hours just to go see these dudes. I'll travel. I'll get on the jet and travel all the way over there. Like, exactly. You we'll know, be up in Baton Rouge. You know, now, where are you? Yeah. Where are you currently at? Beverly Hills, California, my, yeah. my guy. <laughs> don't break character. Don't don't don't, don't break. 
Oh, oh, Greg, oh that's he's right. From, he's oh, from that's Hills. right. He's at the he's at the condo. The yeah, condo in Bentley, Bentley, man. I'm right on the beach and everything, man. Yeah. Like, man, you can man. see you can see Hulk Hogan in his speedo. That's oh, right. No, no, no. He <laughs> no, refers to him. No, he no. refers to him as. Oh, you mean old Terry? Yeah, that's old Terry, man. Yeah, old yeah, Terry. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and and goes up to Muscle Beach and and uh, works out with Arnold. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, he goes to see them every day. Yeah, yeah, the Starbucks. That's right. Exactly. Because I work out the beautiful body. And we exactly. work out. Me, we get me, fucked me up. And, uh, me and Bert Kreischer are neighbors, actually, you know? Like, oh, shit. That's good shit. Yeah. No. He was actually yeah. in Louisiana recently. Yeah, I was at that show backstage. Oh, shit. Nice. Did you, uh, <laughs> no. did you give him the note thing? <laughs> no. I was at that show, though. We went to Shreveport to go see him. Yeah, we had a I blast. think uh, Don was there, too. Donnie oh, really? was there. Yeah, Donnie See, went with me. So here's a funny thing. I didn't know Donnie was there. I knew that guy looked so funny. I'm like, that's fucking Donnie? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. that's fucking Donnie. Yeah, I'm like, I'm Donnie to, been... hey, bro, you're Donnie. What's up? Like, I'm like, you got to the man? Like, you know? Yeah, me and me and Donnie have been friends for over 20 years. I've, I've known him for a long time. So yeah. he's he, he, he comes out and supports. Hell yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But Not at all. I will say this. Um, I'm excited. I'm going to keep saying I'm excited for House Party too. Like, it's, it's, you know how this is important to me. You know yeah, I got to be so. front and center. However, I'm probably going to make me a muscle shirt or have one of my muscle shirts unless a certain somebody, I'm not going to point your fingers or say any names. You know, if a certain somebody, you know, hey, hey, how's the Bentley t shirt? <laughs> I'll have I'll to see what you Oh, I'll, just I'll, have to call, I'll have to call Mama Bentley and see if she's still got some, you know, like. If, if anything, I'll just make my own. I mean, I kind of have an idea what I want to do. I got gotcha. uh, Before COVID was a thing, I, I, me me and Preston joked about this. Uh-huh. One night, we, I'm on the phone, I'm talking to him, I'm like, bro, it'll be funny. And, he's, and I'm like, what? You know how you're a House of Bentley supporter, right? Like, yeah, I'm a fan, obviously. ECW, right, with the Dudley Boys, they had Sign Guy, right? Sign yeah. Guy Dudley. WCW with the Ravens Flock, they had Lodi. Right. I mean, that'd be awesome to be like the freaking Sign Guy. Like, <laughs> so basically what you're saying is you want me to put like Preston Bentley for president or House of Bentley for life or right. Cali Heat forever or right. some just some shit like that. And he's like, bro, that'd yeah. be great. It would be or House Assassin. That's my name. House Assassin. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Or Do something it. like that. Like I'm like, okay, this I I kind of took a step further. I'm like, dude, it'll be even better. I escort y'all to the ring with the sign. <laughs> going straight up like cool. fucking Dudley Boy. I, I, whatever. But then, but yeah, then people would be saying we were like the flock and you know, yeah. and <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I, I want you to grow your hair a little longer, dye it and dye blonde and put it in you know, pigtails like Lodi. <laughs> that would be funny. That really would be. In the words of beautiful and wear, Bobby. And wear some prop tops. Nope. And wear some prop tops and stuff and some, like some Daisy Duke. Like, hell yeah, dude. We hell don't yeah. need that shit. We don't need that shit at all. Hell yeah. <laughs> but I also want to talk about the ending of Rumble on the Bayou. Switching gears. Yeah. Right. Dude, that was ah, spice to right? beat the ball. That was so good. Right? Yeah, I was I kind of upset. It. I was kind of upset that you saw David prior to the show because <laughs> I was like, and I told David that backstage. I was like, dude, you went you went to the bathroom in front of the wrong person. He's like, why? I was like, dude, he he knows like our, our stuff. Yeah, and. Uh, I knew, I, and you even said it. You're like, "Oh, I see David's here." I'm like, "Fuck." Well, here's the thing. So my friend David, that was with me. So I look at him, and I'm like, "And I mean, we're on the podcast, and shit." So it's like, "See that guy right there? That's uh, that's Dave. That's Silver. I didn't, I didn't give up his actual name. So yeah, Silver. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, well. so the guy that you just met just now, they have history." <laughs> So the funny thing was, I'm like, oh, shit, David's here. I'm like, oh. I know. And, I, and, and the I funny thing your... was, I'm going to just act surprised. Like, I'm not going to fucking ruin kayfabe because I have a podcast named kayfabe crying out loud. But, but whenever I saw that you saw him, I was like, 
Nick's Nick's wheels are going to be spinning the the whole show now. Oh yeah, like, I know, I know. And boy, Nick they were spinning. Be... I'm like, <laughs> David's here. Why the fuck, David's here? What the fuck he's doing? Why is he wearing a referee? Did he just got off at Foot Locker or some shit? Like, what the? <laughs> David, I, I know you retired from wrestling and all, but did you did you leave Foot Locker? Like, what the hell, dude? Right, right, right. And then it's yeah. like it kind of. The way how everything was, you slap Eddie, which I thought was absolutely hilarious, by the way. Um, and I love Eddie. Eddie's hilarious. Hey, he um, had it coming. His wife tried to slap me, so I oh, was yeah. like, you know what? Le- the least thing, by the way, is fucking hilarious. The promo that you and Preston did, fucking fantastic. Oh, yeah, here's Thank the leash you. that we can keep your wife on. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I popped hard. I'm like, man, this is going to be some good shit. Yeah, man. And then That's sure what we're trying to do. Out, oh, I think I, I, I know somebody that can referee this match. And I'm like, oh. Then it, then it clicked, huh? That could possibly be why he's here. Did you, get any, did you have any idea that the ending was going to yeah. happen the way it did? Yeah. So gotcha. the funny Good. thing was, in, during intermission, I ran to Sean. And me and yeah. Sean, big ginger monster that he is, right. um, he's like, bro, I don't want you to leave. All right? So why you say that? To do the main event, when it ends, don't leave. We have a surprise. And I'm, gotcha. like, I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, and I told Davey, I said, Davey, hey, we're not leaving after the main event. Why, bro? Just just stick around. You're gonna you're gonna enjoy this. It's gonna be fantastic. Now, keep in mind, Davey is our media manager for the podcast, right? Okay, all right. He's he's the guy that we clown and call Davey Dix. He's our young boy, right? Okay, young boy, <laughs> um, media manager, I should say, because he don't really promote. <laughs> guy right there promotes. He does all the mostly all the hard work. Okay. So anyway, so he's not really big into the wrestling scene. Okay. But he's deep in the local wrestling scene because he knows guys like Rene Boucher and all those okay. guys. Lord okay. knows couldn't pick out the wrestlers on a fucking rec- WrestleMania case to save his life. Oh god, that that <laughs> so there's a there's a video clip by the way that you have to watch and it's him WrestleMania 18, the video game, right? The GameCube yeah. it has the rock, R V D and Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Davey says, well, you got The Rock, and he gets to Hulk Hogan. He's like, oh, it's Mr. Hell Yeah, brother. Not Hulk Hogan, (laughs) Mr. Hell Yeah, brother. So he got the brother part. And I'm just like, Davey, you do realize who the That's fucking Hulk Hogan. Oh, I thought it was Brock Lesnar. Oh, no. What the fuck? Like how do you oh, how do you God. how do you mistake Hulk Hogan for Lesnar? Oh, it gets yeah. better. It gets better. Who's that guy? That's RVD, you moron. And that's when you can tell he's not he's not bigger than the wrestling scene, but he's like <laughs> for a guy like him who's not like a big wrestling fan, right? As all of us and you a wrestler. Yeah. It's it's kind of like different from him. Because, like, he, he understands the promotion side of it. He understands gotcha. what's going on and all that shit. Because I explained to him, like, yeah, this is beautiful Bobby. We called him Pepto-Bismol for one point. Him and David, <laughs> we called him Pepto-Bismol twins. And I was, like, I was explaining to him, like, yeah, they were, they were part of a tag team called Cali Heat. They were fucking awesome. The yeah. theme song was hilarious. <laughs> and that's basically what it is. Oh, we, are they bad guys? Yes. Well, why are they wear bad guys? Because they wear fucking pink, Davy. I don't fucking know. <laughs> that's what it is. So that's the thing with Davy. Davy's got a lot of questions on like, what's this? Who's this? Yeah. What this guy is? Like all that shit. Davy does video game stuff, and he okay. and that's his forte. You know what I mean? Mine is wrestling and, and video games, all that shit as well. But at the same token, it's like, dude, he was blown away. Cool. That's For someone great. that wasn't deep in it, and he did Cajun Heat last year, still cage okay. match. We okay. Were right there. And okay. He cool. Was fucking blown away. So that's great. I think what you guys got going on with APW now. Yeah. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be here to stay, and that's just yeah. My and it's opinion. and it's only going to continue. I mean, we've got yeah. some good stuff planned out for this next one. Uh, 
you know, uh, that's the, that's the fun part about all this is trying to figure out what we can do next and, uh, you know, catch people like you off guard because, oh, you know, boy, did y'all. <laughs> I was not expecting that ending, dude. That would uh, be real. I, well, I feel like when you come to our shows, it's like, we have to, uh, we have to do stuff that the internet wrestling community wouldn't, wouldn't, oh, um, oh, you know oh. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I don't like those guys. You know um, what? you know what, man, <laughs> get the fuck. No, <laughs> no I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just, just basically whenever I'm thinking of doing stuff, something I'm like, I think Nick will like this, like Nick, Nick will pop, you know, like, so got two of the IWC right here too, as well. So especially sorry if I offended you guys, oh, but Mr. Astro man, that man said some of Nick, those nickel pop, some of those IWC guys though. I just cannot stand. Yeah. Like, no, they, we don't, we don't like the IWC too. So don't feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're pieces so. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I do. Try, I do try to do stuff like that. I think about the hardcore fans and like, yeah. What what can we do to to make them be like, oh shit, I didn't, I didn't see that coming, or, or you know, whatever. So, uh, the yeah, with Dave, with the last show. Yeah, with Dave, uh, with David doing that, I thought that was going to be really cool. I thought I felt it was a good way to bring him back. Um, yeah. You know, because not everybody there knew that we you know, that he retired four years ago. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was, it, it, it was legit. David had some health issues and he really did have to step away. Uh, so, I mean, I th- you were there for the last match. Yeah. You were there. there for that match. Yeah. And um, yeah, so he was, he was basically like, yeah, man, I think I'm, I think this is it, you know? And then when we started, when Eddie and Sherry started sharing all the stuff and talking about rumble on the Bayou, all of a sudden <laughs> my phone rang and I was like, Hey man, what's up? He's like, Oh man, that's, that's from, uh, that's from that show, huh? Yeah. Ah, oh, crap, yeah, man. Look at Hannibal. Yeah. Yep. Dylan, that all of them. Times. Crazy. That was good but, times. Uh, but yeah, we just talked about it and he was, I was like, dude, why don't we do it like this? And, uh, you know, I figured most of the people in the crowd wouldn't even know what the hell was going on. So I thought it was a good way to bring him back and get him back in the fold. Like the fact that you turned on by, on uh on David, it was like, holy yeah. shit! Like, yeah, he turned on the one person I would not expect to do that. And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't want to, man. It was just the I I, I would have rathered us never break up. You yeah, know? but and y'all was a great uh, tag team, dude. I enjoyed. For what for what I saw, because keep in mind, I mean, I'm getting into a local wrestling scene at that point. Right. And it's like, okay, well, I met David Silver, and I'm like, who the fuck is this Bret Hart looking ass with his fucking gear, with his fucking damn f- fuzzy ass boots? Look here, Pepto Bismuth. Like, literally, I had the whole section <laughs> laughing their ass off because I kept That's chanting funny. the freaking jingle from Pepto Bismuth when I first saw him. <laughs> and now it's like, oh, he's part of a. Oh, okay, well then, shit. I like this dude. This dude's pretty badass. He's a former GSW right. world champ. You know well, what I mean? See Cali, see, Cali Heat started before me. There was actually right. uh, another member first, and uh, he had to step away. So me and Dave started talking, and I was a totally different character right. at the time. But I was getting bored. I was getting very bored. And uh, I was like, when we started talking, I was like, man, that sounds pretty cool. Like, I could start wearing pink, and I'm a fat guy wearing pink. That'd be great. You know, that's never been done. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> that'd be good for people to do <laughs> in the South. <laughs> <laughs> so six years, six years, we were, we were a team and, uh, yeah. we, tra- we traveled together and I mean, he's, he's become a really good friend of mine too. So, uh, I, I didn't want, I didn't want to, to end it at that point, but, um, you know, circumstances always happen and it, yeah. it, it went down, you know, but here we are almost four years later and boom, here, here he is. It's like, you know, it's like the he, Kiss reunion tour in a way. <laughs> like, was, just don't have a farewell tour and lie to everybody about it. <laughs> well, you no. know what? In, this, in, in the wrestling business, nobody's ever really retired. So, no. you know, they, you're always around. So, well, I mean, somebody yeah, was about to say something? Yeah, I remember Kiss retiring in 1999. Oh, God. <laughs> I was yeah, and now aren't they aren't they touring again together? Yeah, yeah this is like reti- tour. another retirement tour, supposedly. Oh my god! End of the world tour. So 
I didn't even know this. They were in Lafayette last year. Yeah. At the Cajun Dome. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody told me. <laughs> you know how I found out? Craig told me. Damn. By posting it on Facebook. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I text Brittany. I was pissed. I'm like, you didn't tell me had a kiss concert. Go to the fucking Cajun Dome. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I thought you knew. I did not know. I could have saw my freaking daddy do a damn his bass solo and say God of Thunder, which actually happened. He really did. did he did do his bass solo and did God of Thunder. Damn. <laughs> damn. Fucking Sorry you missed that, man. Just childhood fucking ruin. Did Nick get to see Kiss when they came to Lafayette? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got a fucking receipt coming at, at house party. I hope you fucking know that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So I throw that shit in my damn... No, but uh, they were in Lafayette in 2000. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, was it 2000 or it was... I want to say it was 2000. It was It was the first time. Um, I was... I want to say five or... No, I was six. Yeah, six years old. So okay. I was a baby Nick. Baby Nick was... Rocking the Gene Simmons costume, the fucking face paint that my mom did. And she oh, actually yeah. handcrafted the love gun attire of Gene that's, Simmons. That's awesome. <laughs> like, she actually did that. And I'm like, Mom, how the fuck? I have a lot of time and a lot of patience for stuff like this, Nunu. <laughs> and she took it from, like, one of my kiss posts I had back in the day. Oh, uh, okay. She's like, oh, okay, you guys had to do that. So she... Pulled out stockings as like the pants, and she had like all the like it was authentic as shit. Even the <laughs> wig, she had the wig. She put the wig and she tied it. I'm like, bro, this is like the most creative you've ever been. You know what I mean? And I'm only like five years old, and I'm like, bro, this is awesome. The only thing you're missing is the rubber shit for the tongue. But, but for the tongue, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Almost thought it gave me some fake red liquid. That way I can do my. I have a little fake blood, but I'd be kind of weird of a five year old doing that. And some people, yeah, like, I don't think that would look good. Next, mom, uh, what the hell are you doing? Why are you doing that? Oh, you <laughs> beat, <laughs> yeah, my mom beat the shit out of me. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Real quick, as we're winding down, um, final thoughts before you wrap the show up, uh, for, for me, yeah. Ah, oh, man. Uh, damn, it went by quick. We're done already. Um, I mean, you want to go more? I mean, but I mean, I don't, I don't care. I mean, we barely talked about wrestling. We talked about everything else. Oh, shit. <laughs> Speaking of wrestling, before we wrap things up, uh, Van Vicious, who was the <laughs> other member of Cali Heat, was on Raw tonight. That's true. That's true. Along with Corey Constantine. Who is oh, yeah. I did hear about that. He does I, I hope one of them wasn't the one that I thought. Hold on, I have an audio issue. Okay, that's fixed. I, the, Garden, we hope that one of them wasn't them. Well, uh, my audio messed up. Okay, now, I there was somebody, one of the guys as security guards was grabbing, I can't remember who it was now, <laughs> but anyways, they like took the, it was a horrible bump, it looked bad. <laughs> it looked goofy. <laughs> Horrible bumps happen, man. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, it was just goofy. It was, it was goofy. I, I, it was it, it was goofy, and it would look embarrassing if that was your big old, you know, thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Van Vicious was the last guy to get thrown over the top rope by Cody. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Corey showed up. I didn't realize Corey was there. So. And I can tell clearly, I mean, the dude has a fur hog. I mean, he's got very noticeable hairdo, you know, kind of right. like yours truly, mm-hmm. you know, very noticeable. And it's like, oh, it's Corey Constantine. What's up, my dude? He even yeah. commented, like, hardy, freaking hardy. You know what? Cody, Cody's got a receipt coming. <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, I highly doubt Cody Rhodes comes to freaking Louisiana. If he does, it could freaking happen. Right. Um, Man, uh, quick fact about Van Vicious. I don't know if y'all watch Young Rock. Yeah. But uh, Van Vicious was actually on Young Rock as one of the extras uh, I think or some it, shit. It was, it was, I, I think he got pinned. I think he was one, like one of the matches where they were showing like the Rock's like 
come up a little bit. He's yeah. one of the guys that that rock beats in there. I thought that was pretty cool because I have to I, double I, take. Yeah, that is cool because the the sad thing I'm about to sound weird as shit. Uh, How I knew it was Span Vicious is by the tights. Yeah, you, tights. You put, it, it was thrown away. I'm like, oh, it's Van Vicious. Yeah, we don't put, talk about that type of shit though. You put that stadium effect on on your mic. Who me? Um, no, I'm talking to Nick. Sorry. Wait, what I oh, did? Okay. You put that stadium effect on your mic. Oh, that echo. <laughs> okay. Well, at least it's at the end of the podcast, right? How about now? Yeah, it's normal. It's normal okay. now. Sorry about that, yo. <laughs> it happens, cool, cool. you know. Mistakes happen. We botch it. Yeah, heard that. But uh, yeah, man. I mean, you, you've 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 been promoting it. Uh, you know, you tell all your people about it. Uh, next week, next Saturday. Uh, oh, and like don't back, go. back in good old Bayou Pigeon, Louisiana. We'll be uh, doing it again. And uh, yeah, we got some surprises. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be as good as a turnout as last time. And um, oh, dude, I, I don't I know. Plan on making it fun. I don't know who Eddie and Sherry are. No, actually, I don't know if you know that you saw it, but Eddie and Sherry already announced. I've got Ashton Spears again. So yeah, uh, I heard about that. He he told me that y'all were going out again. I'm like, yeah, he he really wants this belt, man. He really wants this belt. Um, he's not. I hate. He's, if he's not I may get it. do, good sir. If I may do my Paul Heyman voice, he's not gonna take the title. That's not a prediction. <laughs> Spoiler. Damn right. Damn right. Put this man over like Rover. <laughs> I better get the damn VIP treatment. No, um, pay for yeah. it and you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> only, only seventy five dollars, man. That's all the VIP uh, treatment. Really? Yeah, yeah. Front row it's tickets. Not that bad you know, if you like, think about it. You get to come backstage. You get to you know all that good stuff. So no, nah, I'm good. I don't want to be backstage. I, no. Oh, come on, man. You can see, you can see, you can see Ashton Spears getting dressed and it's really funny because he's got so many clothes from when he was smaller and he's like, I don't fit none of this crap anymore. Because <laughs> 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 he's funny. put on so much weight in the last couple of years. Like, yeah, I kind of know that, that uh, Hannibal Jackson shirt he had on. Yeah. Again, got rest his soul. Right, uh, the right. shirt he had on looked a little bit. I mean, clearly he cut it out. Yeah, but it looked yeah. a little bit small on him. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I still got mine, man. I wear it. I wear it from time to time just to just to uh, honor him, you know. So it's... before he had passed away, um, I was supposed to get a shirt from him. Um, gotcha. Unfortunately, that shirt that. that shirt does not fit me. If I gotcha. got it, because you know, big right. boy over here. So now, yeah. if, 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 and only if they can find a size large, I don't large. care how much it is, I will fucking pay for it. Maybe 75 bucks, bro. Like, <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, but we'll see. With that being said, gentlemen, final thoughts before we wrap this up. Been a fun one listening to y'all catch up. Yeah, I wish y'all knew a little bit more about what's going on down here, man, so y'all could be a little bit more uh, involved. The, no, it's it. cool. It's cool. I, 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 I enjoyed hearing the stories. The closest yeah. one that lives by me is Dan. Dan lives about, what, three hours, six hours away? Three to six hours away. Like five, six take. hours away. Well, Give or Dan, take. You Dan's in Houston, right, you said? Yeah, so. he's... Yeah, I got you. Yeah, man. Uh, Nick had me send send some matches. I didn't realize I had so many matches on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, they they weren't even matches I uploaded. Like it was matches other people had uploaded. I didn't I didn't know people. But you know what I found out? I've got a huge following in the gay community. <laughs> uh, I mean, you live in Beverly Hills. <laughs> So, so no. Have you been it drinking Bud Light lately? So, check this out. So, <laughs> y'all can put this. No, no, Nick, that's Michelob right. Ultra. <laughs> no, Bud Light. Uh, Fuck you, Joey. <laughs> no, no, no. No, the, the, the real reason why he said that was because the Beer City Bruiser Ring of Va- from Ring of Honor hey, basically called Nick a bitch that. because he drinks Michelob instead of Miller Light. 
<laughs> That's crazy. Fucking, fucking. In, the, in the first 30 seconds, in the first 30 like seconds. the first the five podcast, seconds, dude, why are you drinking big loads of weak ass beer? I'm like, he got his ass creamed by a Ring <laughs> of Honor wrestler. Yeah, fucking That's this. Crazy. You know what? That's why you ain't keeping better than fucking. So. So I'm going to tell you all this, the reason I say that. So when I first started wrestling, I wasn't, I didn't go by beautiful Bobby. I called myself the Grizz. All right. And, uh, I was just wearing orange tights. Like I had some Texas Longhorn logos on them and it said Grizz on the back. That's all it was. Right. And I always wore, I always, I was about 350 pounds when I first started wrestling. So I was a bigger yep. dude. And I would wear like a Under Armour shirt just to have something on my body. And um, one night I was wrestling in, I think it was in New Orleans or something like that. And they had this other guy, his name was Tegger. And he was like four something himself. He was just big old dude. And I was talking about it backstage. I was like, man, I'm really thinking about taking my shirt off out there tonight. And he's like, if you do it, I'll do it. I'm like, all right, cool. So went out there, did some stuff. I took the shirt off and I've got a lot of body hair. So um, when I was talk tell talking to Nick earlier saying I was getting bored with that character, I hit up one of the veterans that was working with us, uh, Stan Sweetan. I don't know if you ever heard of him, Nick. Um, mm, but I said, but I said, Hey man, weird. um, I said, Hey man, can you give me some tips on how act to how to act more like a bear in the ring? And he was like, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll get you some ideas, you know, dude, I swear it was like two days later. I get home from work. I've got a message from him. He's like, dude, gay guys want to fuck us. I was, like, what? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? So he sends me this link to this website called bearmythology.com. And here we go. I'm thinking this is just teaching me how to act like a bear. No, it's a website where people had taken videos of me and Stan and posted them on there. And the, so, <laughs> so the video that was on there of me, me and my buddies got together and we were like shooting Nerf guns at each other's face, but we had sunglasses on. We wanted to dart to pick the sunglasses, but I had my shirt off. That's the video they put up. And they were like, this new obsession is Grizz from Louisiana, blah, 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 blah. blah. And dude, the comments on the video, uh, one comment was like, uh, target practice with a smiley. And then the next one was, I know there's something else I'd like to shoot on this guy. It's a fucking, so yes. So apparently, <laughs> and look, I'm not knocking the gay community. All right. I, I, I have some very good friends that are gay, but that's when I found out that I'm considered a bear in the gay community. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> I'm going to have to chant bear when I see you at the, uh, at the show. <laughs> Grizz, 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 Grizz. So, no, no. Hey, I will, I will come out of that ring and knock the shit out of you. <laughs> but, but but man, so, so then when, back when I was married, my, my wife, my ex-wife and I went to, on a cruise. And when we got off at the cruise port, we went to go get a taxi. We were going to a bar we liked down there. Well, there was another guy in the cab and I'm a talker. So I was like, yo, are you on the carnival ship too? He was like, no, I'm on that one over there. I'm like, oh, what's that ship? He's like, oh, it's a bear cruise. I was like, what? <laughs> so I looked at my, I looked at my wife at the time. I was like, watch this shit. So I started, I started it out. I said, Hey man, I hear us bears are a delicacy in the gay community. And he kind of turned his head. He was like, actually, yeah. I'm like, oh, I got him. Watch this. Started telling him about wrestling, how I wear pink tights. I call myself Beautiful Bobby, blah, 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 blah. We get to the bar because we were stopping first. And I asked the cab driver, I'm like, yo, dude, how much? I forgot what he told me, but old boy in the front seat was like, oh, I've got it. I was like, oh, my God, I just got my cab paid for because I'm a fucking bear. He wanted to rub his fingers through your chest hair, bro. You damn right. <laughs> <laughs> you damn <Bro>. right. <laughs> I'm out of the champ bear when I see a bear, 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 bear. <laughs> Nick's hey. like, hey, Nick's in front row and you're in the ring. He's like, I'll pay for your cab, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 
Pay for his cow. Pay for his cow. You want to come with me? I'll pay. Nick's, oh rubbing, Nick's rubbing his nipple. <laughs> go Come here, you big bear. Yeah, go Hey, I'll tell you what. As long as you're wearing an Astros jersey, I'll let it fly. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that part. Nick, I will send you an Astro shirt. I have your address. <laughs> Fighting colors, bro. That, that's that's not that's, that's colors I don't roll with. So I got so I went off on that little story, but from so once I did the the taking the shirt off and everything, all of a sudden, dude, like I know what it's like to be a female on social media because my inbox stays full with thirsty dudes. That are like, bro, what's up? You know, big guy. Like, wait, so and I still to, to this day? Yeah, still to this day. <laughs> he gets he gets shit like hurting for a squirting. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, there's a <laughs> you, you there's get some a, stupid. You get some, like, oh, I'm hungry. Want to open up my lunchbox? Oh my god, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> So and I used to post on that one. And I used to post all my matches to YouTube. And there was this guy who would get on there and I posted the match without the shirt on. And then like two weeks later, I posted (laughs) something else where I put the shirt back on. And he's commenting on there. Let's get that shirt back off, big Grizz. I'm he's like, like <laughs> he's like, can you keep that headlock applied a little bit longer? I'm not finished yet. And then look, guys in my inbox saying Dude, I would love to see you dominated by another guy in the ring and all this shit. I'm like, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Big wrestling game. It reminded me of those uh, those uh, pay uh, wrestling matches where people would send in the money to be like, yes. I want this person to wrestle this person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I know you get them in the head scissors. That a lot. Yeah. Like the girls used to do that a lot. People would say, hey, I want you to go against this girl and yada, yada, yada. And yeah, dude, I've thought about starting an OnlyFans just for gay guys. Like, <laughs> you should. You know, I mean, if girls can solicit their body, why can't I, you know? I mean, and look, if you subscribe and look, the- to Beautiful Bobby's OnlyFans, you get to see him with the pink singlet. Singlet. <laughs> no. But the look. nipples all exposed. No, look, the first picture is going to be me laying in bed like Shawn Michaels with the title just across oh, my Oh, God. <laughs> 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 it's funny that you say that because episode 69 which is coming up on our channel our lovely dan the man is uh <laughs> well we well we, we i'm not gonna spoil it but uh well i'll tell you what i'll do for episode 69 i don't care if i'm not on it i'm gonna send you a, i'm gonna send you that photo and i want to see it oh, like God. it better be put in the episode if it's that type of episode i want that picture in there well we have a we're supposed to be having a friend that's a friend of ours on the podcast. His name is Juice uh, from the podcast called Juice Pros and Podcast. Okay. A friend of ours. He's been on the, on the show numerous of times. And uh, I've had contact with him. It's like, hey, man, we got episode 69 coming up. Uh, and we kind of want you to be a part of the show because we had nobody better than him. And it's just when him and Dan are in the, are in the same Zoom call, it's – Freaking hilarious! It's comedy gold. So it's just gotcha. oh yeah. But that's gotcha. send me send me the shit and I'll get Joey to uh get that in for you. I just gotta get me a photographer. Like I gotta get somebody that's willing to take the picture. Nick, what's well, up? You prob- I was gonna say you probably got plenty of them on that bears. Don't don't lick your lips like that. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Bro, he, 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 licked, he, licked, he licked from one quarter to the next. Look at you, bud. Now I'm gonna have to stay away from Bobby next Saturday. You know? Yeah, call me, call me. I can, I can just see Bobby coming happen. out with the belt. This would be Bobby. This would be Bobby. Hey, Nick. Uh, I heard you want to take some pictures. <laughs> oh yeah, right, right, yeah, or some. Like yep. um. I might have to come to Karen Crow and let you let you go ahead and make take that photo for me. You, you might have to fly out to Karen Crow on this one. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, we'll have to put some have to put some crawfish on me, make a whole thing. You know. <laughs> but you only dropped my belt. You realize that, right? <laughs> this is a That's very what I'm heavy here for, ass Nick. belt. That's what I'm Cover here for, Nick. Covers body and crawfish, potatoes, and sausage. 
Hell yes. The sad thing Hell is yeah. I could actually see Bobby <laughs> hey, pulling that hey, off. You know what you need to do, bro? You need to take a picture of that and underneath it the caption is it ain't gonna suck itself. Yes. Yes. <sighs> yes. <sighs> and dude. And dude, so so Dan, ever since I've been in Louisiana, because I mean here I'm in Louisiana, but ever since I've been here and people know I'm from Texas, you you probably know what they all say, right? Man, only steers and queers come from Texas. Blah, yeah, blah, of course blah, I hear it from that little <laughs> motherfucker all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Get them back with this one. Be like, yeah, but if but you live in the state that loves to suck the head. Yeah. Boom. Absolutely. Mic drop. Done. <laughs> suck it, nerd. <laughs> yeah. But man, I have fun. You know. it, it's a good time. I enjoyed talking to y'all, man. So before we wrap this up, uh, I got a new Nintendo Switch right here. And girlfriend has yet to know. I mean, she kind of knows I'm getting me a new Switch because my Switch decided to act stupid. So I got me a new one today. What she don't know is uh, I paid not ex- – it's not super expensive. Not as expensive as this. But, uh, yeah. So wait, a belt costs more than a damn Switch? Hey, look, let me tell you something. The belt was For real? three. No, actually, no, it was about the same price. Okay, I was same about to price. say that. So this belt, crazy. I caught this. I caught this on sale on WB Shop for like 330 This goes for 500 bucks. Yeah. Right. Right? Because it's like, it's heavy. It's the replica. It's pretty much the authentic belt. Right. right? And this belt in particular was at one point high demand. Because right. I mean, it, look at the damn thing. I mean, come on. This one is too. Yeah, it is. As a matter of fact, I need to get yeah. with the guy who makes your belt, and yeah. I need to get a replica of that. Are we gonna have a belt like a belt contest? Like, I see we're all putting belts on. Like, <laughs> no, I, I was just gonna know. say I only paid two hundred for this one, and this is a thin ECW belt. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty about, nice. That's the belt I want to get. It'll probably be my next belt more than this, like. This is the one that came out in 1999 by Figure Inc. I remember that. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Wait, uh, this yeah. one, uh, this one, I won from uh, Mustang Mike in a wrestling match. Um, <laughs> Good times. Good times. Good times. Oh. So. But yeah, um, I want to say a special thanks to to Bobby for being a part of the show. If totally you nice. guys are in the Plaquemine area, or or is it White Castle? Plaquemine, White Castle, Baton Rouge. I mean, it's not far from. If you in that area, uh, yep. go check out House Party too. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be there, of course. I'm probably gonna be in the loudest section possible because Section D was fucking loud. Dan, stop doing it because I can know you doing that shit is gonna make me break character. Stop it. <laughs> anyway, if you. Yeah, son of a bitch fucking did it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> if you like what you see, go <laughs> Damn, turn to the fucking outro, stop it! Go ahead to at least one. Son of a bitch, <laughs> if you like what you see, go ahead, smash the like button. Because seriously, subscribe to us, please subscribe to us. We would deeply appreciate it. you get a kiss from Dan. I don't know why he's going up that close. But... You'll be able to get all this shit. Also, hit that bell that way you don't miss any of our content whenever we upload a video. Again, we want to thank beautiful Bobby for being a part of the show. We got merch. Go check us out. Go check Bobby out if you see him. And a big fat nope. Hey, you owe me 25 cents. I got your twenty five cents, but that's that's trademarked. Every time is every time you say it, it's twenty five cents. God damn it! I'm part of the house of Don't go over there with your bullshit. Anyway, <laughs> with that being said, I am the house assassin, the venomous one, Nick Venom, along with my two good friends, Stagley Crocker and Dan, the mother effing man, and we are out of here. Joey plays a track. Gentlemen, as you know, the ultimate warrior. Fuck it. It's publicly stated that. Damn it, who put that up? Is that $200 an hour? That's all. Oh, me gusta.